Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are back for some more Rogue Trader. Uh, we are in the chasm. We just picked up Gilead. And we are about to explore a little bit more of this area. Uh, in the mangled sector we're supposed to find Abelard, which I really want. Because I don't want to meet the Drukari that are over here. I feel like that might be a fight and I don't want to fight with just these two. Although Iliad does have some decent weapons, she's not really uh, made for frontline duty. Uh, we can try and shoot the corpse. Excellence matters. Did we succeed? We did. I was thinking, why why didn't she do this? I have. S what? I have 70 ballistic skill? I had no idea. Oh, well, because I have Janus Warlord and Superior Munitions. Interesting. Did not expect to have that much. Okay. Oh. Track. I know. Tracking boots. Whenever the weather is hot on the trail. Okay, don't worry about that. Run and gun and melt the charge. Okay. This must be the chute that carried your unconscious body down here. Yeah. New challenge for me? Oh wait, so am I am I going backwards? <clears throat> no, there's 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 new stuff here. Ich. Not even gonna try it. Victory away! Have you heard of the laughing racer? The one who dives in the arena every time and then stands up alive and walks again uh, away. Hmm. Hands off. It's about time. So yeah, people are just scavenging the corpses here. You guys basically have nothing. Oh, the ugly beggar again. None shall stand in my way. What's up? The hideous mutant does not look as cocky as the last time you met. Armed and not bleeding from a hundred wounds, you must be a more formidable sight. How about buying yourself a pair of boots? The beggar shows off his filthy legs and surprisingly decent boots. Your boots. Yeah, I don't like that, bitch. Where did you get those boots? They're from a stiff that was lying in the corpse dump. A friend of mine pinched him and gave him to me. I didn't steal nothing, I swear. His ugly face twists in a smug sneer. Ah, uh, we don't have dogmatic. I'm all for being iconoclast, but I don't like being robbed. Hand them over and leave before I take your head clean off. Thank you, thank you kindly for your mercy. The beggar makes a swift exit, leaving behind us a repugnant stench to remember him by. Yeah, because I like my commissar boots. <clears throat> Had I known, I could have equipped some crappy boots before and get some iconoclast points here. But yeah, no, no, no. I like my boots. So, give them. Uh, these were agility and stuff. <clears throat> she cannot use them, that's right. And... Okay. Okay, this takes me. I'll lay claim to the stars. Oh, it just does not say. And this takes me to the mangled sector. Let's go to the mangled sector. The, whoa, whoa, whoa. This profane device is designed to set the elevator into motion only when wretched victims die inside the device. What the hell, dude? So are they dying? No, they're alive. I won't tolerate weakness. <laughs> okay. Anatomical opera. Hmm. Interesting. A flash of seeding pain causes the conservator skull to burst into flames. Mm hmm, sure. I want the rest of my friends, dude. I'm hitting pew pew pew. Whoever tried to settle in this vile place, their fortitude did not carry them far. 
have some cargo here. Yo! My loot. Okay. Go away, tutorial. I have cut my eyelids off to keep my eyes visible. A new Not sure that's the best me. approach. Uh, athletics would make us jump over there. And this seems to be an isolated area. Uh, I want to try and get Abelard before we go there. Follow my lead. The otherworldly shimmer of nothingness promises pro uh, peace and quiet. More beggar. Are you gonna kill him? Uh, yep. Uh, I'll take the knives. None shall stand sure. in my way. Oh, retrieve the safe. Athletics also. Misfits. Zealous thug. We got lucky with our commander. The commissar is a fierce fighter and no mistake. Renegade medic. The commissar is over there. This means that Abelard should be kind of around here, right? Imperial guard. Where is he? Examine the corpse. Lord Zenos. Dude, you were supposed to have some Lord Zenos here yet. Oh, it doesn't show the percentage. <clears throat> Can I get there? I can. A trivial task. S skin the corpse? Okay. Why? Chameleon! <laughs> the Drukari warrior's skin was stitched with flexible crystal threads whose colors shift to match their surroundings and conceal the wearer. That is... That is something else, man. Where do I put this? It's not an item, it's it's a quest Absolutely item or something. Not. <clears throat> yeah, it's a quest item. Unless, unless you can wear it? No, quest item. I don't know why you would think Victory to skin awaits. the corpse there, but... Uh, let's just accept it. Uh... I guess I have to talk to the Commissar before I can find Avalar, it seems. Because I have I not seen him yet. Weakness. I need Argenta for demolition. What if the Thunder thing comes? You know the one that's called in the shadows. More cargo. Okay. Let's quick save and talk to this guy. Or is he Avalard? The stately man in a commissar's coat and a tall service cap greets you with the sign of the Aquila and a solemn announcement. Another loyal servant of the throne has found his way to us through these confounded catacombs. Fear not. Approach. If you have faith in the Emperor, then you will find only allies here. Sure, make the Aquila. The Emperor protects. Indeed, the Emperor protects. The Commissar's impedious, booming voice repeats your call, and the rest follows suit. Look at the Commissar. One might think that the archetypical Commissars from Imperial Guard propaganda posters are all life drawings of this man. He has a large and powerful jaw, his eyes are hard and fearless, and a small scar over his brow adds a certain rugged charm to his features. His coat, though worn, has been diligently cleaned and mended, and the skull on his tall cap has been polished to a shine. Who are you? The man replies with clipped precision. Commissar Yako Sotni, but my brothers and sisters in arms prefer to uh, call me simply the Commissar. I was assigned to a regiment of the Vic Vicentian Zuovs, and I fought in the battle for the world of Kemalt Secundus, where I was wounded and taken prisoner while unconscious. Having recovered from my wounds, I carry on fighting the wicked Zenos as the head of the local Russian cell, which I founded. The Commissar's speech is vehement and decisive. My valorous comrades and I sabotage the enemy's activities while we devise our plan of escape. The streets of Komora are like a maze of spider webs into which the Dark Ones lure unfortunate souls. Each thread that leads to freedom turns out to be another cool deception in the end. <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah, I, I, I'm kind of thinking about this, right? <clears throat> Following resistance cell did you? I wonder why you have not been killed yet. Most suspicious. 
They've tried. Oh, they've tried. But every time the Emperor protects this servant, the Commissar smiles fearlessly. What does your resistance do? The Commissar observes his humble army and says with enthusiasm, Our first ongoing objective is to keep bolstering our ranks by seeking out prisoners who haven't yet lost faith and willingness to oppose our nefarious jailers. Our second priority is to arm ourselves and train. I teach my soldiers the basics of guard tactics in order to mold them into a fully-fledged assault unit. Most importantly, we gather information and plot our escape. And the day when we pave the road to freedom with the corpses of detestable Xenos is nigh. The Commissar's rallying shout makes his people square their shoulders, proudly straighten their backs and respond with a fierce war cry. <clears throat> what were the circumstances of your capture? We engaged the enemy on the world of Kemal Secundos in the, uh, in the Marcane marches of the Calixic sector. The loathsome foes of humanity were known to launch raids in the area, so we received orders to defend the good subs of the Imperium. When the profaners descended upon us, we gave them no quarter. The enemy was routed and my unit drove them back into their ships. Our counterattack drove a wedge into their advancing horde and thwarted the invasion, but it also meant that we were cut off from both flanks and surrounded. We fought valiantly for several hours to stop the enemy ranks from reforming for a new onslaught, until we depleted our munitions reserves. By that time, our superior officers had already fallen, so I led my people in a bayonet charge. We taught the Xenos a lesson in blood, and then I have no memory of how the battle ended. I came to consciousness in this foul place, disarmed and on the verge of death. I thought I'd die, but it was not yet time for the Emperor to release me from his service. Okay, I require medical assistance. The Commissar examines you critically. You do not look too badly injured and we are suffering from a severe shortage of medical supplies. Better to save what we have for critical situations. Okay. Malus sent me here for your head. However, I have no desire to cause you harm. The Commissar lets out a contemptuous laugh and nods approvingly at you. That scaled miscreant has long since wanted me dead. He craves my soldiers, he forced us from our base to this perilous place, but he will pay for his scheme soon, once my plan is set in motion. It is a disgrace to serve one, as, one such as he, you ought to join our ranks instead. Together we will break out of this accursed city. Okay, so what is your plan of escape? The Commissar's speech, speech is brisk and energetic. Some of our own have captured a small Xeno ship that was mod, uh, moored for repairs at a remote unused dock. They eliminated the crew quietly, but left the pilot alive to sail the ship back to real space. We can get to the dock through a dimensional portal located at our old base. If the Monkey have managed to capture the vessel, they were permitted to do so. If they were permitted to do so, here that casts you a meaningful look, the plan is doomed to fail. Regrettably, Malice and his shriekers drove us out and took over the base, so the first order of business will be to confront him there. I propose to take him by surprise and deliver the first strike. We will support the attack from the outside. Logic has failed. The Commissar's plan is bold and the odds of it succeeding are bleak. However, it seems improbable that anyone in Camorra is prepared for such decisive covert action from the city's prisoners, so the Commissar and his people have the element of surprise on their side. <clears throat> Who are the people in your command? The core of my unit is composed of prisoners from various Asa Militarum regiments and a number of planetary guards. They formed the assault squad that went on the special operation under Sergeant Vigastis' command. The rest are common people who had the misfortune of being captured by Xenos. Serfs, nobility, administrative clerks, technomats, void workers, monks, anyone who found the courage to take up arms. The only kinds you won't find here are heretics, lawbreakers and cowards. How have you managed to accomplish so much? Every morsel of intelligence we have acquired and every step of progress we have made was paid for in blood and pain. The information about the dying cabal that dreads entering the docks of its enemies and instead moored in an abandoned area was forced out of captive, captive Xenos. Wait, what? Dying cabal that dreads entering the docks of its enemies? Hmm. The knowledge of the portal was bought in exchange for one half of all the weapons we had stockpiled, and taking that ship cost us several lives, each of which was worth more than this whole blasted city. I shall join you. The Commissar laughs and exclaims approvingly, My brothers and sisters in arms, a new fighter has joined our ranks. The Emperor's Grace is with us. Okay, I have other business to attend to. Farewell and keep the faith, the Emperor protects, brother. <clears throat> okay, so where is Abelard? The makeshift Aquila looks somewhat pitiful, but the evident diligence and passion that went into his creation speaks of the piety of its makers. Mm-hmm. Filled makeshift last gun batteries and crudely made autogun ammo. Dude, where is Abelard? 
So kill Malice or bring Malice to Commissar's head. <clears throat> Find past colonies of Camorra, save Abelard from the mangled sector. <clears throat> but where is he? Is he is he over there? Do I have to break it doesn't I'll make sense if I have to break to through the this? Stars. I don't want to waste my only charge on a 30% chance. God damn it. Where What do I do? So we got the skin from that guy, but we can't do anything with it. We've spoken to the beggars. There's nothing there. Uh... Oh, it's over, over there! It's over there! <clears throat> but how do I reach him? Do I just have to try, keep on trying to make this jump and just get stacks of fatigue or something? I'm gonna quick save it. Seems very odd to me. I have failed my kin. Oh, so yeah, so she fails, gets a trauma, but she still... Okay, we still pass. Okay, that's why. Abelard, my friend! You barely recognize your loyal Seneschal Abelard Wersarian in this pitiful hunched-backed figure. His officers bearing his broad shoulders, his direct and piercing gaze all gone out of trace. What you see before you is a decrepit, quivering old man rubbing through mal malodorous refuse and mumbling under his breath. It takes you a second to make sense of his horse lisp. Quatharina, love. White Amasekan fruits? Of course, love. The children are making mischief again. Quatharina, where are you? The old man's frail voice is laden with tenderness and longing. Abelard? Oh, Quatharina. Abelard laughs faintly and immediately launches into a bout of coughing. Deep lines run across his face and a blurry film of cataracts clouds his eyes. The drive stems are at it again. Another council session, another appeal to the logitums. They will never be satisfied, love, until they make us and our children disappear. Perhaps we could just give in. You always say that Dargonis is not your home, love. Abelard is looking past you at someone only you can see. There is a, a timid smile on his trembling lips. Would you like that, love? Would you rather leave? Leave it all behind? Go somewhere far away, away from our toils? We have dogmatic option. If we had a stimulant, we could also use it. Ah, okay. Or we can use coercion, or we can use persuasion. Let's go for persuasion. No, Abelard, their family is not here. They are waiting for you. Abelard flinches. Family? But, Quatharina, you are my family, and you are dead. He shakes his head as if waking from sleep, slaps himself on the cheeks, and looks up at you. Cordant. Apologies. That is to say, Lord Captain. With a groan, Abelard tries to straighten his hunched back. Thank the God Emperor Death has not found you yet. Then again, given the circumstances, it may be for the worst. <laughs> Is this damn thing still with us, then? Abelard's withered fingers pointed here yet. There will be no rest for my weary bones. You will find no rest in this place with me or without me, grey-haired monkey. What happened to you? Abelard is racked by an old man's hacking cough. That thrice-blasted Zeno simply chucked me aside like a piece of rubbish. I went to look for you, or for help, and I ended up here. This is where it found me. That thing. Memory fails me. All I can remember is bits and pieces and needles. It pumped, it pumped something out of me, and it pumped something in. Yeah, so I think it's the other guy that, that spoke in rhymes. I seem to be in one piece, except that creature. Abelard tries to wipe his stained coat with trembling hand. How should I put this? Its needles siphon the strength out of me. I feel older by a good decade or two. He touches his face and exclaims in surprise. My word, I think I am older. That could be why I started seeing things. I never thought I'd live long enough to go senile. Uh, what was the thing that attacked you? He shudders. A spawn of nightmares. So ghastly, my mind refused to picture a clear image of it. Nothing but meat, metal, and many, many needles. It feasted on me. Feasted on my very soul. It would have devoured me whole if it hadn't gorged itself in another before me. We will find a way to restore your time to you, Seneschal. Pray, Lord Captain, there is enough strength in this body yet. Your Seneschal will not be so easily broken by some. He groans and clutches his side. I could just use a brief respite. Where are the others? I have not the faintest idea, Your Lordship. All I can say is, if I manage to survive down here, the others have a chance too. There were no weaklings in your retinue. Who is Quatarina? 
Abelard gives you a tense embarrassed look. My late wife, Lord Captain. I think, in time I wandered around here, my sanity may have suffered. A temporary lapse, I hope. It appears my mind can no longer stomach the kind of horrors this place has to offer. I saw her by my side. I saw a different time, a different place. I wonder if he was also... Um, placed that worm in his brain. Okay, I for one have had enough of this heap of filth. It is time to move, Abelard. <clears throat> I could not agree more, Lord Captain. I serve House von Valencius. <clears throat> Abelard salutes with a shaking hand and the ghost of his usual stern expression returns to his wrinkled face. Awesome! Sullen time. The anomalies of the medical sector have stolen Abelard's health and vigor and aged him several decades. Look what does no this mean? Further. Ah, that sucks. We're losing... 20 on all of our main stats okay so let's go for chainmail let's go for a actually a two-hand sword uh, da, 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 da. you can take these and I suppose the last pistol to accompany that, or do this. 7 to 14, rate to fire 2. Uh... Wait, this only fires in bursts, and this only fires single shot. So if it only has a single shot, why is the rate of fire 2? <laughs> Go for those, then. No. Uh, mine are better. <clears throat> we shall take this. Hot what else we have here? Looking at the revolting puddle of ichor that reeks of suffering, you can barely make out what remains of the bones of some unfortunate soul that appeared to have been digested and regurgitated. As indicated by the bloody trail, a body was recently dragged through here. Okay, so now I have to find Argenta <clears throat> for the demolition here. Lord Zenos. Did she fail? Oh, 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 okay. I have to break this to get okay. It's about time. Okay, so now we have a better chance of this. Experience. Good. Nothing matters more. There was, yeah, 30% uh, only. Awaits. Oh. Okay, the same thing as always. <clears throat> I think I'll try to heal Abelard before I go for this. If, it, if it's at all possible. <clears throat> um, I think we're done with this area. A new I'm going to try me. and find Pascal because we do know he's on the streets of Camorra. But now that I have Abelard, I kind of feel safe in going for that group of Drukari that we found before. What is that? It just... A winged thing. <clears throat> I have learned much in my exile. The victim was killed by a series of precise cuts in vulnerable spots. The throat, the eyes and the tendons. The killer must have been aiming to swing the outcome of the fight with the first few blows. Okay. I won't tolerate weakness. I don't know why those don't show the chance of uh, succeeding. <clears throat> kind of odd, but... So this guy should actually be dead. We killed him in the previous episode. Uh, I need to arrange my formation here. So something like this. It's about time. Yeah. So now if these guys want to fight, we can give them a fight. <clears throat> I will still quick save though. Nothing. Really? Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Victory awaits. A flash of seeding pain, yes, I know. Pascal, I need your tech use, my friend. Come on. Tech use. None shall stand Tech use. Yeah, I, I need Pascal. 
<clears throat> I need Pascal with me. Mistress Elliot, the ship's crew would be less alarmed if you made the slightest effort not to frighten them. Monkey fears are not my concern. And even if I wanted to assuage them, your kind will never cease to fear those who stand above them. Hmm. Tech use. Tech. What? Dude, okay. I, I've seen this already. Enough. Let me move. I like that we're shown that we are in pain and stuff, Follow but <clears throat> taking away control of the game is very annoying to me. Cavalite Ranger. Drukari. Did I just go all the way around? No, I did not. Rack. I won't tolerate weakness. Oh my god, would you please stop? Oh, didn't skip. Yeah, all of this tech use. Where is Pascal, man? I need Pascal. What is, what is this, by the way? Doesn't say. Okay. Do you know about Pascal? <sighs> Not this way, meat. It's about time. Hmm. <clears throat> what would you do if I if I pressed the button? Just says not this way, meat. Victory okay, is Pascal awaits. in one of these places here? And I might need to actually just try <coughs> the tech use. So those are also tech use. A new challenge for me. He's not there. Oh, wait. Portal to the arena. I don't want to go there. As far as I know. Yeah, I feel like I've None walked the entire way around and there's way. nothing. What if I enter those those weird portals? Okay, I'll try that. Maybe it takes me somewhere else. Maybe something different happened. I don't know. <clears throat> All I know is I want my friend Pascal with me. Oh, dead people. You guys have auto guns. Don't think I care about that. Oh, it's just a shortcut. Hmm. Am I supposed to kill I Malice without Pascal? Stars. I'm doing this again because I'm afraid I may have missed him. Follow my lead. But he should be in the streets, right? And these are the, the streets of the chasm. These are the shriekers. I won't tolerate weakness. Uh, this is my, my starting area, right? Don't actually remember. I mean, if I can't find Pascal, <clears throat> I'll just try and kill Malice without him. Yeah, but Pascal is not here. He is not here. It's about time. Yeah, no. The problem is, if I want to kill Malice, I have to fight all of this, I imagine. A new challenge and for me? only three people. <clears throat> Even with Abelard, seems kind of iffy. Okay, so Pascal is not here. Uh, let me see if I can ask him where Pascal is. I'm gonna quick save in case he goes hostile on me. Okay, if I am to kill the Commissar, I will require this equipment. 
If I gave you that, it would be all too easy for you. When you leave, I'll enjoy wondering the next time I'll see you. Okay. I have some questions. Okay. Don't care about any of this. I must take my leave. I just want my friend. I'll lay claim to the stars. Yeah, the streets of the chasm. <clears throat> If it's not on the chasm and it's also not in the, the opera thingy, I don't know where to go. Let's go here. <clears throat> See where that takes me. Takes me here. No, no better at searching. Oh. Just cargo. I won't tolerate weakness. Still no Pascal. He's supposed to be like left completely beaten somewhere. It's about time. But I would expect the game to highlight him some way. Okay, so going here. We ha are in this weird place, which does not have Pascal. We can't go there. Follow my lead. I feel like I'm missing something obvious, is what I'm feeling here. I feel like I am missing something obvious. This transport adorned with massive blades would make for a deadly weapon on the battlefield. Sure. A new challenge for me? Yeah, he's not here. Not there. I won't go to the arena, of course. I mean, unless the arena Victory isn't awaits. actually the arena. If it's like a preparation area, a staging area, he might be there. Although, it doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> Okay, let's, I won't tolerate weakness. Let's check that out then. Uh, over there, right? I will quick save. If if we do get into a gladiator fight, I'll just I'll just load. I think. I just want to see if I'm missing something. Get to find Pascal. In my way. Pascal, where are you? The tear in the fabric of space is sparking with entropic energy capable of unraveling the threads of matter itself. Yeah, okay. I do feel like we are out of stars. options here. I think I just have to go for Malice. Ah, let me just go here again. No, we've been there already. So, yeah, let's just go there. There is no Pascal, so... <clears throat> we shall fight Malice. I still don't like the way this is done. <clears throat> Depending on the type of fight that I have to do here, this just seems so incredibly not in our favor that it hurts me. <laughs> A new challenge for me? Where would I even want to be? Because I want to have my main character somewhat close to Abelard to give to give him bring it down, which is the moment. But I also don't want to be in the middle of all this, so maybe here. I tire of idleness. But somebody has to talk to him, right? Doubt so is for the I, I, I can't just. I won't tolerate oh, God. weakness. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, I'm gonna put we you over act. there. <coughs> and heal yet over thoughts. there. This is so bad. Sometimes you consult the appropriate treaties this on is tactical so bad. and weigh every step. Sometimes though, you don't. I'm always ready. No, no, it's no, I don't like time. this. I'm gonna State put Gilead I'm here, no I'm gonna put to myself here. It's still awful. Your senator but, is well. always there for you. Malice. The Commissar says hello. The two humanlings have plotted against me. How predictable. Shriekers, 
kill the humanling slowly. I want to enjoy his torment. Take a knee and bow okay. before me. Are so this failed. Me, Dude, they have. Okay. This guy has a bunch of HP. Uh, but actually, most of them are actually very weak. 627 hit points? When does he play? He plays after Abelard, which is very good for me. And this guy plays after us. We were actually lucky in the round order here. Uh, so, what would I do here? I guess I'm gonna put myself in heavy cover as well. And she can stay here. This guy's gonna hit me though. Because he's melee. I think I'll just start exactly the way I am. Maybe put Abelard in cover from those guys. Maybe not, because I, I do want them to shoot him, not my backline. Eh. <clears throat> Let's start. Okay, so I guess first things first, we're gonna give an extra turn to Iliot. But we don't really have a ch We're just dead. I need to have I need to have Abelard go here first. Suits my purposes. Okay, so what am I doing here? I feel like I want perfect spot. Uh, I feel like I probably want my sniper rifle. Try and go for the weak ones. I think so. So, what do I do here? I'm not really used to playing with the assassin, so... I'm gonna start the perfect spot. And now, I guess I'm gonna do a Death Whisper on somebody. It will bleed them. And I feel like... I feel like I want to start killing these tougher ones first. Or do I just go for him? I guess I'll just start... I'll go for him, actually. Because we have the opening right here. Sure. Very low damage. Uh... Did I get AP back? Don't actually know how I got AP back. And another another shot. Oh no, okay, so never mind. Uh, so this, okay, this is fine. Uh, everything's fine, everything's fine. So... Aim for the opening. Cost zero, I guess I'll just use it. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. And I can shoot him again. This did what again? Attacks and grants 40% dodge attacks attack. If attack hit, it does an additional damage. If it hits an opening, damage is increased by 60%. What is your dodge chance? 0%. So this would be this. Sure. I understand your intent. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> and now I could use in my sights on somebody, although I don't feel like I need it. I think I'll actually just go for analyze enemies on that guy. This tedium is beneath. And me. go for the elusive shadow. <sighs> if I must. Pass. <clears throat> Do I want to move far away? Movement points, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I do want to move far away. Okay, run. My tactics are flawless. Pass. Elliot plays. Elliot is playing. I guess I could also try and hit this guy very hard and see what I can do. I am not your okay, let's Zenos do that. Pet monkey. 
Uh, the order was... The order was incorrect. My bad. But that's fine. Let's go for Death Whisper. If it serves your cause. Okay. And now I can go for a Killing Edge. A dodge chance is 95%. It's still 95% even with the dodge. Why does it take 16 to 19 and it takes 40 to 46? Oh, because he has five of those stacks. Well, <clears throat> change of plans. Aim for the opening. And blam over there. I understand your intent. That is very nice damage on the on the assassin. God damn. Um I feel like I want in my sights. She's never gonna miss anyway. Let's just go for a precise attack. I am not your and elusive shadow monkey. and pass the turn. And now I'm playing, so I I would give this to her. I would like to give this to Abelard, but I can't, so I'll give it to her. Be my servant. Take that. Purposes. Take that. And I will try to help out with some damage on somebody. I thought I had a shotgun, not a knife. But, okay. Uh, I will assign objective here. Sure. And shoot the guy over there. Do I want to move first? I probably do. Yep. Suits my purposes. Nice. Uh, That's a lot of damage. Here we go. Should have gotten myself into cover. <clears throat> that was my bad. Okay, so I fully expect to take some damage here. So I'm gonna go for Brace At for Impact. I need Endure. Is and I'm gonna go for Sworn Enemy on this guy. I have two stacks. Okay, so Sworn Enemy. Indeed. And... I kind of want to use him... Well, I would like to go there, actually. But if I do that, he will, he will attack me. Unless he only has a ranged weapon. Malicious Lash. Forceful Tail Lash that deals rending damage to all creatures adjacent. We can be knocked prone. Yeah, I don't think I want to go for him first. Let's see if I can knock him prone with the kick. No. Uh, but I want to come here. The game is not showing me... Ah, it does. Okay. Attack, attack opportunity. It does show me. So I think I have to stick with him. Which sucks. Can I taunt the people down here? I can taunt him. Okay, good. So I'll taunt him. It will be done. It worked, good. And I will just maybe use him for cover and go back here. And smack. Man, not having my gear is hurting. It is really hurting me. Now revert to more conservative tactics. Yeah, Abelard is down. Let me educate you on the art of Show me what you've got! Okay, all these are melee. Uh, I feel like this calls for a burst attack. What is that? Melting. Okay. <clears throat> um, I would say aim for the opening here. And shoot him like this. But then all of these will kind of be very evil for my friend Abelard. But I think I have to do it anyway because he's more dangerous than these than all of these. This tedium is beneath me. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Okay. 
I would love to kill somebody here. I am not your Z. He does have aim for the opening on my side. Does this give me armor pen? No, it does not. Come on, crit. Okay, not too bad. Can I actually target you? I can target you. If it serves your cause. Oh, that skips a turn. Oh my. <clears throat> okay, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I can reach her. I can also just do this. So I will give her the extra turn here. This also just gives her more resolve. Let me just think. So I can do... I can start with this. And try to finish this guy off. Already done. Actually, I actually hit the guy behind. Okay. Uh, I can shoot him though. Suits my purposes. One kill. Biggest mistake. <clears throat> we have an heroic act, which I would love to give to Abelard. I mean, not really, because he's kind of not doing much here. So you take this. I have dispatch. Deals more damage. Not really very good. I just want to kill people here. I think Abelard will just go down. Can't do much about that. So... Movement points. Six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. They cannot reach Abelard. So if this guy misses, Abelard might actually live. So I would like to focus on the ones that hit from afar, but I don't think I actually have line of sight. I don't have line of sight. God damn it. Okay. That's actually a lot of damage with this. Fifty fifty eight. Do I just bleed? I think I'll just bleed this guy. Because this bleeds, yeah? I think so. So, if I... Uh... Let me think. I want Elusive. One. Zero. Two. Three. Okay. I understand your intent. If I must, no weakness is hidden okay. from my Lead sight. Bitch. <clears throat> and now I can go for. I could actually just go for more damage on him. Hmm. But then he comes for me. No. Okay, you know what? I think I'll just kill somebody over here. Like this guy. Oh, come on. How do you miss that? Okay, so... Precise. Or actually aim for the opening. I will put it if there. It your cause. We pass. Now I can give finest hour to her. I'll bring glory to and my now we're gonna life. do some damage here. This puts four exploits. I think I just try to shoot more often. So he has an opening right there, so this will hit. This tedium is beneath me. That was very, very good. Oh, I need to reload? Come on, dude. <laughs> Let's aim for the opening again. If it serves your cause. And shoot him again. I am not your Xenos pet. Fortune favors the swift. I am happy with this. 
If I swap weapons, I can actually just set up kill him. Okay. If it serves your cause, I'll do death Dead. with my hands. Okay, screw you. Well done, Yuliet. God damn. And I think I'll burst like this. This tedium is beneath me. Nice. And finish him off. I am not your Xenos pet. We level up. Okay. <laughs> and let's play some exploits course. there. For the next uh, level, uh, next turn, elusive pass. My turn because she using uh, I use an Eric act, which means I can try to. What? A little bit more of a chance. Okay. Let's see if Abelard lives through this. I don't think he will. I really don't think he will. But. It would be cool if he did. 84, 95. Let's get more damage with Presti Advantage. Nothing I can't do. Suits my purposes. Okay. <laughs> That's a kill. And I can do this. Nothing I can't do. Ah, oh, almost another airway act. God damn it. And we Give her more damage? No, can't. Give or take aim. Sure. Already done. Pass. Don't kill Abelard. Come on. No, not dead. Well, I hope to we had to try, right? Dead. Oh, now you come and help. To battle my comrades in arms, the rotary calls for our aid and. Our freedom is at hand, let's sacrifice our lives for the Emperor, die Zeno's freaks. You came in a little bit too late. God damn you. Okay, so how does this work? Makes an attack with the current weapon against an enemy. Cannot miss and deals more damage. Okay, and this... Is also just a free attack against a target, not multiple targets. Okay. So, I suppose if I came over here, I could burst like this I think that's like my best chance to do damage Swift okay. and silent. Uh, take that I understand your intent this tedium is beneath your ancestors guide me that felt like very few shots or they just did very little damage, I guess. Okay, so I think I actually want to reload now. 3 AP? Ah, screw you. So, Carmine Whisper. So, aim for the opening. And Death Whisper. I am not your Z Fortune favors the Damn swift. it! Why don't you die? And now I can go for a dispatch. S such low damage, but it will still kill him, so I'm fine. Pay with your blood in the name of Kael, a okay. And pass. Uh, I'll just give her a, an extra turn here. Suits my purposes. Nothing I can't do. We burst him. If it serves your call, I hear you moving. Good. No more. We death whisper there. I understand your intent. One hair. <laughs> <sighs> if I must. Okay. Okay. Don't kill Yuliet, please. Why did you go for me when she was right there? Let's make it quick. Good damage. Out of my way. Okay. 
Weather right. the storm. And that, that's actually a lot of people. <clears throat> you kill Steeler. What's happening there? The Commissar's resolve is palpable. Victory, comrades! Duty beckons! Our allies are waiting on the other side of the strange rift, so let us not waste any time. He is holding a strange Dino device. The Commissar points at the rift, presses a few buttons, and the roiling entropic energy died down, forming a stable portal. What exactly awaits on the other side? Loyal comrades and a stolen escort ship with its pilot taken hostage. It will take us back to real space, where, Emperor willing, we will send out a distress call and be saved. By his grace, may this turn out to be true. Abelard's voice is dull and lifeless. But I have to save my friends first. Are you coming with us? I will bring up the reed and make sure no one falls behind. You will lead the charge. Act as a shining example of duty and valor. But I, I wanted to loot the area... Okay, onward. The Commissar raises his voice and shouts triumphantly. The Emperor is watching. Let us not falter under his, under his gaze. The path we tread is shrouded in, the, in shadows. Careful, Elantak. Tragic foreboding grips my spirit. Ah, so we can actually loot first. We got some heavy armor. Good. I will want that. Just take everything right now. Did you have nothing special, really? You did not get trauma. Interesting. Nah, he got trauma. Head trauma. Okay. Sucks. Uh, I will give you this. And... That's all I can really give you. Poor Abelard. I felt like he was going to be able to do more there. <laughs> but he was not. Uh, yeah, I don't want this for you. I want the shotgun. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I think we're going to have to follow the Commissar. Um, but I also feel like it's going to be a good chance for us to actually... Um, Oh my lord, he has a I lot of traumas. Service. Crippled leg, crippled arm, head trauma. He actually took three traumas from that death. Well, that unconsciousness, not death. Yeah, damn. Um, yeah, okay. I guess I'll leave this for the next episode. Um, to have this section be like a fresh thing to explore. I seriously hope we can come back from wherever this goes and pick up the rest of my companions because I do want them with me but I didn't find any other options anyway so yeah uh, as always my friends I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel watching some Rogue Trader I hope you guys are having fun questions suggestions anything at all leave a comment below if you are enjoying the content consider subscribing for more um, more episodes coming out every single day and I hope to see you all in the next one until then stay safe everyone